Sling that jank. Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with a magic topic video. Today I want to talk about cheating because well, it's been a topic that's come up many times over the years, but this time it's at a probably one of the most highest profile levels as far as a magic player is concerned. So you got Yuyo Watanabe that was is very clearly that the evidence is very clear that his deck was uh marked, his Tron lands were marked. Uh, you see some images there where all of his or most of his Urza's towers were marked in the top right corner. One of his other Tron lands was marked in the, I think, the bottom left corner. And then I think the bottom right corner for the other set of Tron lands. There's no way around it. The, there was some kind of cheating that happened there. The strange thing is, is who it is that was caught cheating. Somebody who's already well established at the highest level of the pro scene of, of ma competitive magic. Somebody who's amassed almost almost a half a million dollars in winnings over their career by playing competitive Magic the Gathering. A player who is on the new Magic Pro League and gets paid almost six figures a year just to be on that Pro League. This brings to me the question that I've kind of, I mean, a lot of us ask it and we kind of think this way because, I mean, we all know how hard of a game Magic is to win consistently. I mean, it's a game where random cards are drawn off the top of your deck. You know, it's, it's not chess where the best player absolutely wins all the time. The worst player has a, a you know, a fighting chance because of the, the variance, the randomness of, of Magic. That always made me wonder in the past is like how are these quote unquote pro players always able to run well enough to get so consistently at the highest level of a Grand Prix, a Pro Tour, a Mythic, uh, a Mythic Championship, whatever the case may be. It, lead, it makes me lead to the conclusion that as far as being a paper pro magic player is, is concerned, I think it's just a whole, for the most part, I think community is, the strong majority of them are going to be cheaters. I think that's just the only way to explain it. Of course, practice, practice in playing in, in big tournaments, practice, you know, all the hours of practice they put in is definitely a factor. But I think what is also a factor is these people that are pros, they're, they do all that. But in addition, whenever they can get a very marginal advantage, they take it and that's what gets them to that level that's what helps them break through and that's what helps them consistently break through at least more consistently than your average player the more and more the more and more i think about that the more and more i'm kind of welcoming the i guess the the online revolution i guess you could say um i don't know it's going if it's going to happen but i think it should happen is that all realistically high competitive play for Magic the Gathering should be digital because it is impossible to cheat, of course. The question in regards to that, though, is does Wizards of the Coast want that? Does Wizards of the Coast want just random people in their pro league all the time? Because that's what's going to happen. Because when you can't cheat, <laughs> these people who are good players and know how to get away with cheating for in like the case of this Yuya Watanabe over a decade, I mean, you're going to have fresh faces in the in the pro in the highest levels of the pro league uh, all the time because I think if you take the ability to cheat out of there as a factor, you're not going to see the same people. You're going to constantly have new people coming in and out, rotating in and out, basically. Going back to Yuya Watanabe, I mean, you can't tell me that over a decade of over half a million in winnings at Grand Prix, Pro Tours, and all that stuff that, you know, now that he's at, you know, he was getting consistently paid almost $100,000 a year to play, and he still feels the need to cheat. You can't tell me that he was not involved in cheating at least some point, if not most of the time, 
uh, for all his other accomplishments. Some of the old pros have probably just moved on in life, and that's why they're not as active in the Magic community. But maybe as we do transition more into like a digital age of playing Magic and more cameras and all that stuff, as far as the coverage goes, maybe some of those guys aren't or girls aren't able to to uh, function uh, with their marginal advantages that they used to uh, cheat and that's why we don't see them at the top of the ranks as much anymore. So it's interesting and it makes me enjoy Arena and you know I enjoyed Magic Online as well but Arena being the new you know cosmetically beautiful forefront of Magic here uh, I hope they continue their drive to make the primary the big events uh, arena I understand that the mythic championship is still a paper tournament and maybe situations like this will help them realize that they need to transition fully into digital because uh, you know all of us as just regular average Joe magic players we don't want to we don't want to see these people that we look up to uh, you know find out later that they're that they just all their accomplishments were for nothing and it makes you question all the other uh, high uh, ranking accomplished pros you know you know digital format arena and magic online eliminates that possibility with the exception I guess of ghosting as in if you're watching somebody else streaming or whatever so you can see what's in their hand and stuff like that but obviously in a, a high level event where there that's prevented so so let me know what you think. Would you like everything to be, as far as competitive magic, for the most part, 100% digital? At least on the, the grandest scales, uh, but maybe even below that. I mean, I mean, realistically, as unfortunate as it is, we want everybody that's playing in high-level events to have earned their way there legitimately. So qualifiers, all that kind of stuff, essentially, if it were all digital, then that would be... For the most part, I think 99% it would mean that those people earn their spots legitimately. There's no op there's no ability to cheat whenever you're using an online program. Let me know what you think about that. Interesting topic. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And together, let's sling some jank.